Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to keep on doing layout stuff. So I've already gone over, gone over scroll views and I've gone over constraint layouts. Now I'm going to go over relative layouts and linear layouts in this one. What I'll do is I was trying to figure out another sort of cool layout to build and I looked at my Facebook and I thought, okay, let's build something that's similar to what Facebook looks like. So I'm not going to use any constraint layouts here. I'm just going to use relative layouts, linear layouts, and a scroll view. All right. So the first thing you need to do is create a new project. I just called mine layouts, as you can see up here. And then we're going to go into our layout file. So go into the res folder, layout, and open activity main. Actually, you know what? The first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll grab the images that we need. So in my case, I grab my banner and I grab my profile picture, and I'm going to put it into my drawables folder. So if you don't know where the Drawables folder is, find where you store your Android Studio projects. In my case, it's F and then Android Studio projects. And scroll down to wherever your project is. This one's called Layouts, App, Source, Main, Res, Drawable. And this is where you're going to want to put your images. So I've already put mine in here, as you can see. So that's done. Now we'll go back to Activity Main and let's start building our layout. So right away, I want to get rid of this padding and I want to get rid of this text view. And let's get the preview open here so we can see what we're doing. And at the top, to start, we'll throw an image view in for that background image there. And we don't need to add any more layouts, so we'll just straight up create an image view. You can drag it in if you want in the design tab, but I'm just going to type it out. And our image is going to be, I don't know, 50 dp by 50 dp. And we'll give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, Banner. Or sorry, we want. Oh, sorry, we actually want. I was thinking profile picture. We need to match parent and for the height. I don't know. Let's make it 150 dp maybe. Oh, that's a little big. Let's go 110 dp. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we need to set the background image. So go source, Android. Oh, actually drawable. Sorry, drawable. And there we go. Oh, it looks like it's not fitting quite properly. Let's go into the design tab, and we're going to need to add a center crop. So go to the scale type over here click the drop down, click center crop, and there we go, now it fits perfectly. All right, let's go back to the text tab. Now what we need to do is add that little profile image, so my profile picture image here, and if you'll notice, it's stacked. So with a constraint layout, it's really easy to do this. You can just straight up drag it on top, but with relative layouts and linear layouts, it's a little trickier. So what we need to do is we need to create a relative layout, and we'll do match parent and We'll make it the same height as the image view, so 110 dp. And then inside this relative layout, we need to create a linear layout. So for the and this linear layout is what's going to contain the image view. So we're just going to go match parent and match parent, and we're going to stick an image view inside of it, and we'll make it 50 dp by 50 dp. I'm going to give it an ID of profile pick, and then notice how it's already stacked inside of the relative layout. Now what we'll do is go center in parent, set it to true, and then I'm just going to adjust it to get into the location that I want. So we're going to go align parent left, which aligns it to the left hand side of the screen, and then we're just going to add some margins. So margin left, and do, I don't know, 10 dp. Uh, let's do a little more. We'll do 20 dp, and do margin, margin top of, I don't know, say 30 dp. Or no, it needs to be more than that. 100 dp. Actually, let's get rid of this center in parent, and I'm just going to adjust it like this. Let's wrap content. There we go. So get rid of the relative layout height. Just go to wrap content and set the linear layout height and width to wrap content, and then we'll adjust it this way. So go 90 dp. That's not quite there. A little 80 dp. That looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going to make the image a little bigger. Let's make the image uh, maybe. 80 dp by 80 dp and have this margin top go to 70 dp a little higher let's go 60 dp that looks like about where we want it okay now let's set the image source so go source drawable and profile pick and there we go so there we have our profile pick and that looks approximately the right spot yeah looks pretty good okay now next we're gonna add i'm not gonna add this update info or view activity log I'm going to add this um, text view here, Mitch Tavian, and then these things, the timeline about friends, photos, and more. I'll make buttons for those. So we'll throw in a text right there. 
just grab a plain text and I'm just going to drag it in. I'll drag it up there. I think it'll be pretty easy to place that where I want. And it looks like it doesn't want to align to the bottom of the banner, so that's okay. We'll just delete that. And I'm just going to create margins to get it where I need to get it. So I'm just going to say text, I don't know, text name, and we'll go margin top. Actually, margins might not be a good idea in this case. It might screw up the location of it. Maybe let's go align bottom to, yeah, well, I want the align bottom to banner work, not a sibling of the same relative layout. Okay, so let's just take this out of this and we'll put it in the same relative layout. There we go. Okay, that looks all right. Now let's give a margin on the left of, I don't know, 10 dp. Oh, it's because we have this margin end, so we don't even need that. Let's get rid of the margin left, and we'll just change the margin end to 75 dp, or no, 55 dp. There we go. That moves it over a little bit there, and we'll type Mitch Tabian. I think it's bold in Facebook. Oh, it's white. All right, well, let's actually do text style bold, and we'll color it white. So text color. I'm going to have to create a white color for this. So let's go into values, go into colors, and let's add a color. So just copy this line and add white and do FFF. And we'll add white. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to add these buttons. So timeline about friends, photos, and more. I think what I'll do for these is create another, I'm going to create a linear layout. So I'm going to create a linear layout here because they're all, I noticed that they're all sort of in one row and they're all horizontally oriented to one another. So I'm going to create a linear layout with a horizontal orientation and then add these buttons inside that linear layout. So I'll create a linear layout and do match parent for the width and just do uh, wrap contents fine. We're going to need to align this below uh, this banner. So we'll just go below the banner. And then inside this, we're going to create some buttons. Oh, first of all, actually, sorry, we need to uh, change the orientation to horizontal. And now we're going to add some buttons. So button, um, wrap content's fine, wrap content is fine. And the text for this one will be, this one's going to be timeline. And we need to align it to the right of this image too. So, so layout margin right. Uh, we don't need that. We can just do mar margin left. We should be fine. So margin left 110 should be perfect. And let's change the background color to white. That looks good. Hmm, that doesn't look quite right because there's no border. So we're going to need to create a border for these buttons. Let's go over into our Drawables folder and we'll create a new resource file. I'm just going to call it border and click OK. Okay, so we need to create an item, we can close that tag, and we need to create a shape, we can close that tag, and then we declare a solid, and go Android color equals, our solid color is just gonna be white, so we just go FFF, and then we can close our solid tag. Next, we need to define the stroke, which is the border, so we go stroke, Android color, and the stroke is gonna be gray. Then we need to define the stroke width, so stroke Android width, and we'll just go like 2DP, that should be fine and then close the stroke tags. And that should be pretty much all we need actually for this border. So you can see we have a nice gray border. Now we'll go back into activity main and we can set this linear layout's background to that border. So go background and go uh, at drawable border. So now you can see we have a nice gray, gray border for those. And we're gonna also need to put the same gray border on each one of these buttons. So go background, oh, sorry, change the background up here, go Drawable border. So there we go. Let's zoom in and take a look. So that should look pretty similar to the border is actually a little thick. I'm going to change it to 1 dp instead of 2 dp. So let's go back to border and just change. Oops. Whoa. That was weird. Go back to border and change this to 1 dp and close border. And that looks that looks much more similar. So the next button we need is going to be about friends and then photos. So let's add those buttons in. I'm just gonna copy this button and add it a bunch more times. So about, friends, photos, more. So this one's gonna be about, friends, photos, and then more. 
And we're going to need to get rid of all the margins. So get rid of the margin for that one. And this guy. And this guy. And that one. So we can see that they're not lining up. The, the text size is too big, basically. So we need to change the text size. Let's go text size equals, I don't know, 10 SP. Makes it much smaller. And let's shrink these buttons down too. You know what, we can actually just use a weight sum. I think a weight sum would be better in this case. So I will I'll change the text size still. I'm gonna copy it into each one of these. I think it looks better with small text anyway. And now we're gonna use a weight sum. Weight sums can only be used with linear layouts, not relative layouts. So up here we declare the weight sum. I'm gonna do 100. 100 is easiest because you can just say 100 equals 100%, for example. And then since we have five buttons, we're gonna divide them equally into the layout so each each button should contain 20% so you go layout weight equals 20 and we're gonna add that to each one of these buttons so 20 20 20 and 20 so now they all fit in there so that looks pretty similar to Facebook that's all right now we will oh no we've got to fix this that image is getting uh, laid over top of by this uh, linear layout I think actually all we need to do to fix is if I took this linear layout, so remove it, and let's just throw it actually inside of this relative layout. Okay, and then hmm, that didn't quite do it. So what we'll have to do is bring this image view inside this relative layout. There we go. So now we just need to get this to the front. Or actually instead of bringing it to the front, what we can do is move this linear, this linear layout, this horizontal linear layout, so that it's to the right of the profile picture image. That, that would work. So we'll go down to our linear layout here and just go to, to right of and we'll say profile picture. Oh, it looks like it's got to be inside that relative layout. So we'll grab everything inside the linear layout there and it's got to be inside the same relative layout. So we'll put it below this linear layout and there we go. And I think then we can get rid of this linear layout okay that should actually be fine uh, we just need to bring this pic image down and we need to get rid of all of this sort of white space here so we'll get rid of this margin bring all those over there we go now I'll bring this picture down I wonder if I can align the bottom to this linear layout so I'll give this linear layout uh, an ID I'll just call it linear layout and then align there we go that looks okay and then I'm gonna add a margin here so margin left just add, I don't know, 15 dp. There we go. So that looks pretty good. All right, let's take a look at our Facebook. Okay, so now let's just do like a, like a little posting area and then like a timeline down here. So I'll create this this sort of text this post text box here. I'm gonna leave out these. I'm just gonna add uh, like a a little spot to type something and then uh, a post button. Oh, we need to fix our text view. Throw that inside the linear layout. There we go. Or the relative layout, sorry. Now we'll go below everything and we'll add another another relative layout for a little post section. So relative layout and do match parent and the height, I don't know, do 150 dp and we'll do it uh, so that it's below everything. So what if I type linear layout there? Oh, it's not the same sibling, okay. We'll just put it below something else. We'll put it below this relative layout. So I'll give this relative layout an ID. I'll just call it relative layout. It's the one that contains all this information. And then I'll go down to the bottom and I'll put that below. There we go. And let's do a little bit of a margin on the top. Just do 15 DP. And let's add some margins on the right and the left. Actually, I think we're probably okay to do padding. Let's just do padding everywhere. Padding right, 15 DP. There we go. Yeah, let's get rid of the margin. We'll just use padding on the top also. 15 DP. And maybe even padding on the bottom. Okay. Now inside this, I'm going to add another linear layout. And I'm going to make it a horizontal orientation. So I'll do width match parent. And height will be, uh, let's just do wrap content. I'll do orientation uh, horizontal. This is what this is the layout that's going to be sort of right here. I'm going to add an image view and I'm going to add a text field for typing. And they're going to be horizontal to each other. That's why I added a linear layout here. So I'll create an image view. 
and I'll just have like, I don't know, 25 DP and 25 DP. And then I'm gonna set the image. So source, the drawable and profile picture. And then to the right of that, we're gonna have just like a text field. So I'll have a text, an edit text field and the width will be match parent and the height will be, I don't know, let's do 40 DP. And I'll put a hint in here saying, what's on your mind? And we'll change the text size to, I don't know, what does 15 SP look like? That looks all right. And let's do a margin on the left, just a 10 DP, just to move that over a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna create another, one more linear layout below this linear layout. Actually, I don't even need it. I'm just gonna add a button. And this, this relative layout is actually quite big. We're gonna shrink this down to just 100 DP. And let's increase the size of this to 60 DP. And then below this, I'm gonna add a button. And it'll just be the width, uh, just wrap content and wrap content's fine. And we're gonna go align parent Align parent uh, right through that gets it onto the right side. We're going to put it below this text field. So, to put it below the text field, we got to give it an ID. So, I'll just say, uh, I don't know, edit text post and grab that ID and just put that in there. Oh, it's not inside the relative layout. And then we add some text. So, I'm just going to say post. Oh, we can't put it in there because of the linear layout. So what we'll have to do is put it down at the bottom and we're gonna put it, we're gonna give this relative layout a name, or sorry, give this linear layout a name and we're gonna put it below this linear layout. So I'll give it an ID, I'll call it linear layout two, and then we're gonna put this button below that linear layout. Looks like there's not quite enough room, so we'll have to increase this height. Actually, I'm just gonna say wrap content, that'll contain everything. Then we have everything we need here. So I'll change the text size of the button, it's kind of big, just do 10 SP. And we can shrink this down too. It's kind of it's kind of big. Not 20 dp. We'll go 50 dp maybe. Oh, that's a little small. 70 dp for the the length and the height will shrink. We'll just do maybe 30 dp. That looks better. And we'll put a border on here. So we'll go background. And we can reference our uh, drawables border. That'll give it that gray border. And then why not actually add the border to this too? So we'll go background drawables border that looks all right now uh, this image view I just want to move down a little bit so let's go margin margin top I don't know 10 dp and we'll add a little margin on the left also so margin left just like 5 dp uh, maybe let's change let's do 15 dp there we go okay it doesn't it's not perfect like it's, it doesn't match exactly but you know you you could get it to match exactly if you wanted to I just kind of wanted to give a little kind of live demonstration of me building a layout so you can see sort of the steps that I go through. But like I said, it's not perfect. This is just a introduction to layouts and how to use linear layouts and relative layouts. So I'm going to stop this tutorial here. Actually, one thing before I end this is let's take a look and see what it looks like on bigger phones. So uh, we'll just click on the Nexus 10 here, which is huge. And there we see it looks good in horizontal orientation. So let's switch it to the vertical orientation and it still looks pretty good. So it's safe to say this will this should fit the screen size of all phones. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching.